that's much more better. Am I good? Am I in the frame? My shirt is rolling up, but that's all right. It's just not going to cover these hips and thighs. It's just not going to do it. It's not going to do it. So I gave up on it, okay? Yeah. Anyway. Hey, family. Hey. It is the 26th of uh, April, and I just came to catch you guys up on how things are going on in Tina's life and in Tina's world. And, but first, before I go through all that, um, I want to apologize for the day that I did that video and I was just kind of showing you guys where I was at. Um, and I said that I was going to come right back on. I said, well, okay, well, let me put some shit down and I'll be back in a minute. Well, some shit just, you know what I'm saying, went this and that and I had got caught up and I got, it got away from me. And every day that I was going to come back and get back on and apologize and, you know, just to simply catch you guys up, you know, things were just getting in the way. Um, I'm happy to say that I've gotten my stitches out and I'm able to get around much better. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, I had stepped on a piece of glass and it was really deep. And But as it was healing, it was still giving me pain because it was still charts of glass in it. So they had to open it back up, take, you know, clean it out more, and then allow it to heal back up. It was a whole process. When I tell you, I, oh my God, it was, so, you know, I, I just, you know, it was pretty much like I felt like I was on bed rest because it was like I, 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 I didn't like that pain, that feeling. And uh, so I hobbled around and hobbled around. It was just, it was just horrible. Okay, it was just horrible, but uh, I'm back on the men's. Everything is going good. Stitches out. I'm healing up well. I'm back in the sauna. Um, I couldn't go in the sauna at that time because, you know, when you got shit going on like that, especially with stitches and stuff, you just really blow up. So, um, um, you know, so I'm back in the sauna now. I just started back a couple days ago, and so I'm going to get back into my routine of that. Um, I, uh, you guys saw a couple of weeks back, I started my cryotherapy treatments. Well, I did that with the sutures in because it, it kind of helped with the swelling and the pain and it aided in the healing. And so cold is always good, you know, but hot, you don't want to do hot. So, so, uh, anyway, so I, I was just going through, I was going through that glass issue, had me fucked up. And, you know, sometimes when you're just not feeling good and your trauma personality just not there, you it's hard to just come on here and, well, for me, okay, let me speak to, just for me, okay? When I'm going through something, it's best me just to sit down some goddamn where, you know what I'm saying? Because hurting people hurt other people. And I didn't want to come off as you know a particular kind of way being that i was not well so you know now that i'm on amends and everything is getting back on the good foot hello everybody hi what's up y'all hey a lot of shit done jumped off in the news huh oh my god it's all kind of shit done popped off crazy right so we ain't gonna kick nobody out y'all already know we always kicking folks kicking folks out Clyde Nim, he decided that, you know, he wanted to come back and get his job and shit back. So, you know, but Tredis and them, you know, them niggas is like, you know, uh, 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 motherfucker hell. You know what I'm saying? Minimum wage in California is, you know what I'm saying, this right here, motherfucker. I don't know if we want you back up in this spot no more, you know. So, you know, it's been a little this and that with uh, who gonna uh, handle the dough. But, uh, you know, so I'm just gonna say this right here. We ain't gonna kick nobody out. We just gonna share and, uh... I got a little patchouli, um, a little patchouli burning, and uh, we getting ready to chill and kick it and just get caught up, you know. Um, now, um, um, come next month, I am gonna do a video, uh, a video a day in May. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, different stuff that you might want to ask, um, shit you want me to talk about, um, things that's going on. Um, hit me up at 160tina at gmail.com, the number one, okay? And hit me up and leave me a message, and that's going to be the best way to be able to get in contact with me. I know I got all this other shit, but I don't, I don't be on that shit all the time, okay? So, then therefore, a lot of your shit get lost in the sauce. So, 
you know, if you can leave me a message on my Gmail, and then therefore, um, you know, uh, we're going to knock this uh, video a day in May out. And, uh, you know, um, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take you guys, I'm, I'm going to do um, a lot of my beauty treatments and such and walk you guys through the process. And, you know, we're going to go in my bathroom and, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, we're going to work all that shit out. And, uh, I got these beauty boxes, you know, them damn beauty boxes that they send you, Target, Walmart, all of them. I got so many of them things, y'all, even those test tubes, all that stuff. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me another really nice decorative box or a nice hat box. And, you know, one of these days, well, when we in there, because it's all in there in my bathroom area, and we're going to just talk about it on camera and, you know, go through the products and which product is what, and then... Um, I'm going to put them all in one big decorative box and then I could just go in there and pick out things that I, you know, may need or want at that time whenever I need them or want them, you know. Um, I'm not going to throw the shit away. Now, I do have um, uh, uh, also donation boxes that I just, that I that are my donation boxes that I just toss things in my donation boxes and when I fill up those purses like I did during Christmas time, I fill up old purses with all kinds of stuff, washcloths, toothpaste, toothbrushes, um, body wash, uh, all kinds of stuff, even a couple of dollars sometime, um, you know, I even put um, can openers, all kinds of stuff, snacks in purses, and I give them um, to uh, homeless women. And so, a lot of that stuff that's going to be in those test tubes and all in that stuff. And just, um, I'm going to, some of that stuff that I know I ain't going to fuck with, then therefore I'm going to put it in my donation boxes um, for my purses. And um, every time I go to hotels now, I just, you know, well, I've always been doing it any motherfucking way. And all that shit's been going in my donation boxes too because I got so much of that shit, the shampoo, the soaps and shit that, you know, that be on the counter in the bathroom. I take all that motherfucking shit. Let me go and tell you. I got soaps and motherfucking plastic caps and shit for days. You understand me? And I just kept the motherfuckers. But then now that, you know, I'm doing this right here, you know, it makes me feel good also to give away such things. But, you know, I don't know. It's just a, it's just a good feeling. You know, I put uh, Tampax and a Kotex and shit in there and all kinds of stuff in those in those purses and fill it up with good shit. You know what I'm saying? Sunflower seeds, all kinds of shit. And then I, and I just, you know, give, give the purses away. So, anyway, so we're, we're going to do all that. And uh, so we're going to do a video a day in May. We're going to go through some of my beauty treatments. I'm going to show you guys different things that I do. Um, uh, I was, did this video earlier, see, not, like, right now, it's going on 4.30, okay? Now, when I did those videos this morning, that was before Wendy and all that shit, right? I even missed Wendy because while I was on here taping and talking to y'all while Wendy was on, so I even missed that motherfucker. I don't even know what, what's going on with that, but, uh, you know, it's just, whatever, you know, I, I, I haven't seen Wendy in the last few days. I don't know how she came, what she said about the Beyonce thing. I don't know. I All I know is her and Robinson Pete then, uh, then fell out. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I don't know. I, so, I don't know what's going on on Wendy right now. I don't really know what's too much going on, on too much. Um, I have to say, though, and this is a short story. If you ain't want to hear it, go ahead on fast forward. But on the day that Prince died, it was crazy because that night, um, Anthony had called me to pick him up from work. And he had worked late that night. The, 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 you know, the morning that all of this shit jumped off, okay? So he had got off about 3 o'clock and I had got up, went to go get my baby. And on our way coming home, as we was coming up the street... Um, I saw these little eyes in the street trip me out. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's night. It's night o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, it's like, nigga, dark o'clock. Okay? So, uh, we like, uh, and plus we was hungry and shit. So, cause sometimes when, when I pick Anthony up, my motherfucking ass, we be going by Del Taco cause it stay open, um, 24 hours. So I go and get me a chicken soft taco or whatever. So, shit, at that time, I was hungry, and I was tired, and, and you know, it's some wee hours in the motherfucking morning, so, uh, we see these eyes in the street, and I'm like, damn, do you see those eyes? My son was like, I don't know, I don't see nothing, mama, shit, I'm tired. 
I said, no, nah, I see some eyes in the streets. You know what I'm saying? And as I started slowing up, so I was slowing up and I was looking and it was this little cat. Family, it was this little cat in the street. And it fucked me up because she was just in the middle of the street and she wouldn't move. You know, here it is, 3 o'clock. You know, at about 6 o'clock, you know, motherfuckers is getting up, heading to work. The kitten gonna, you know what I'm saying? Somebody gonna hit the cat. So, um, I slowed down. I saw it was a cat and I swerved around it and I, um, it was about four houses down from the, from my house. It's like four houses down. So, I pulled up in my driveway and in one mind said, no, nah, go back. So I went back and um, I got out and I, you know, went up to look at the cat and she was injured. Something had happened, like, her, you know, her, her legs and stuff was messed up. So, you know, me and my son, we got the cat out of the way and we had got her on the curb and everything. And I felt so good because I was like, and I was just crying so bad because I was like, somebody's going to hit her and, you know, let me move her out of the way. I put all this on Facebook, so those of you guys that already know the story already, just be cool. I'm, you know, now you're hearing it live. So relax. Okay? So so then, um, so I, I come home, eat half my taco, go to sleep. I wake up, because my daughter wake me up. Mama, can you take me to school? I overslept. I was like, okay. So I get up, take her to school, meet her. I go in there in front of the house. Here's Isaiah. I'm like, well, what? nigga still doing here. He's supposed to be gone. So I ended up having to take both of them to school that morning. Once he figured out she was going to get a ride, that nigga said, I might as well slow down. Shit, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? So mama going to give us a ride? Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, I overslept too. So anyway, so as we get in the car and everything and we pulling out and I'm like, you know, I'm telling him about the cat earlier that morning and when we got down the street, down the street, when we got down the street, the cat was gone. So I just felt so good. There was no blood. There was nothing. So there was no signs that somebody actually hit the cat, which means that somebody got her. And, you know, whatever they did, hopefully, you know, humane society or maybe somebody, it was somebody's pet or, you know, something. Anyway, the cat was removed and she was picked up and she was gone. So it really made me feel good that I actually saved the life of this cat. Right? So I go drop the kids off. I get back home. I'm on Facebook. I'm telling you guys about this cat. In the midst of me telling you guys about this cat, you know, CNN comes across the thing. And no, first, before CNN comes across the street, I get a text message from one of my friends. And it's like, you up? And I'm like, yeah. And so, um, and so I'm like, okay, what's going on? So it's like, I, you know, I want to talk to you, you know, talk to you. I don't want to send in no text. I was like, okay, call me. So, I get a phone call, girl, do you know Jay um, died? And I'm like, what? Who? And it's like, Jay. And it took me for a minute to, you know, to get it. So, come to find out, you know, you know, the wrestler had died. So, I was like, oh, my God, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? So, and, you know, she's not somebody that I know, know. But, you know, we have common people that, you know, that we know. And so, uh, and so I had got that, and I was like, oh, my God, it was, uh, so at that part, at that point, I was already feeling bad, you know, and I had put it on Facebook that, you know, she was found dead, blah, 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 she had died, she had a really nice place in Redondo Beach, so, you know, we was all, you know, I was posting it on Facebook and stuff, and giving it a little background, and, you know, and stuff like that. So then, in the midst of me doing that, CNN comes across my iPad and says, there was a death reported at Prince's residence. So I'm like, oh my God, what the fuck's going on? In a matter of minutes, right? So then I post that on Facebook, and in the midst of everybody saying, nah, bullshit, huh? What? Nah, what's going on? Oh, hell nah, what's going on? In the midst of that, before six minutes, it comes back, Prince had died. And I was like, oh my God. What the fuck is going on? I mean, it was just, it was just a crazy, it was, it was crazy. It was so, 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 so crazy. And I was like, wait a minute, okay, so I'm getting this about China, and then now Prince, what's going on? I'm really tripping right now, like, oh my God, what the hell? Well, so, all the rest of that day, you know, I had called Kenny at work, and, you know, my son, he was in there asleep, so, and I was like, you know... It just made me just feel like, because the weekend prior, that weekend, 
we had just watched Purple Rain on, I think, it, I don't know if it was VH1 or one of them channels. We have, me and Kenny had sat up and watched Purple Rain. So I was like, you know, we was talking about Prince and the 80s and all that shit. And we was talking about what you do in 1999. And, you know, we were just, you know, chalking it up, blowing and just, you know what I'm saying? We was on some Prince shit that very weekend. So, uh, it was just, it was just crazy. It was, it was crazy. Wow, you know, it's like, and then, you know, a lot of people was like, okay, well, he was real holistic, and he was, you don't know what somebody is into. Let me just go and say that. You never know what somebody is into, you know, and even though, yes, he lived a very holistic, very clean, seemingly clean life, you just never know what a person was into, you know, and, uh, you know, it's starting to come out now that he was into all kind of alcohol boogie, you know what I'm saying? Every day, they got something else to say about this motherfucker right here, nigga. He was on this, that, Percocet, that. Now, cocaine is flying around. You know what I'm saying? Sister that came through. Sister said, shit, fuck that. I want my brother's money. What we need to do? Because uh, come to find out, ain't no will or nothing. Shit, uh, let me go head on and uh, break bread with everybody. You know what I'm saying? So, they little, so everybody little, you know, children and all that shit can get paid and get their little coin. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just waiting to see what's gonna happen with his compound and shit, you know. And man, it's just so it's just so unfortunate. It's just so sad, you know. It's just man, I just I just feel bad about that. It was just so sad. So, you know, I just hope the best for the best for the family and you know, it's just wow. And then he got cremated too. I'm like, wow, you know, there was really no time for the fans to really go to a place and really grieve. Yeah, people was going down there many minutes, whatever, and they was doing their little thing over there where Purple Rain was filmed at at the club, and, you know, they was doing that shit in L.A., but the one in L.A., oh, my God, they was down at the Merc Park, and I'm like, why in the fuck did they get all these motherfucking crackheads? I mean, some motherfuckers that was on some old dope. They was out there pop-locking, crip-walking, all kinds. I mean, just voguing, all kinds of shit. I was like, oh, my God, what is the hell? What is the hell? Because they was doing the most on TV. I said, oh, my God, if y'all don't get the camera off these motherfuckers up down down here tripping and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, it was it was just so sad, you know. I was really thinking that it would have been, you know, a nice little service televised to where, as you know, everybody can, you know, say their goodbyes and, you know, you know, really digest it. Then after that, nigga, if you wanted to go head on and get cremated, didn't go head on and run that. But, you know, allow your fans to, you know, really have a place to, you know, grieve together, you know, and everybody, you know, kind of, I don't know. So I, I, I was tripping off that. I don't know what the fuck would who was involved with that shit. If there was no will, then who, 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 who motherfucker made that choice right there to just go ahead on and do it and do it that motherfucking quick. I don't, I just don't understand. So, anyway, whatever, you know. Um, so, um, um, but y'all, so what's up with my relationship status? My relationship status is cool. Right now, I'm just really wanting to just, honestly, Ain't nobody here but my daughter. My son is at, uh, he's uh, at weightlifting and Anthony going to work, so. And, uh, Kenny ain't here, so let me go ahead and tell you straight up. Nigga, I want to do what the fuck I want to do, okay? Now, I was married over 20 motherfucking years. I was married so motherfucking long, how about I end up with a pension on that motherfucker? So, then therefore, okay, I done retired on marriage, okay? I retired that. Now, if I want to come out of retirement you know what I'm saying? Then therefore, it got to be a hell of a motherfucking package for me to do so. I'm just telling you that right now. This gonna have to be on some Ray Lewis type status. The whereas, okay, now, you know, his kids and grew up, he on the back end of what he need to pay. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? We get ready to just travel the world and have a good time. And this motherfucker just does it for me. And everything is just this and that and that and this and this. And we starting over fresh. And, you know what I'm saying? I, what you like to do and what you like to do. See, I can't do that. You know, uh, with Ken. We done been through too much. You know what I'm saying? And it's me. It ain't him. It's me. But hell, I don't want, I don't, I, nigga, I want to go and do as I shall please to do. I don't want no motherfucker telling me about what I can't. I don't need you to be putting that on. I don't need you to be doing that. And I don't need to, hey, 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 hey. I done paid the cost already, boss. You know what I'm saying? I done done all that shit right there. 
My kids is growing up. My son is 14. You understand? You know, my daughter in 11th grade. You know what I mean? My 19-year-old working full-time. He doing his thing. You know what I mean? Fucking with Uber and, um, uh, what's that other one? Lyft. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got that part together yet, but you know what I'm saying? Uber and Lyft is what's happening. And, uh, mama. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, yet still, I'm cool right now. You know what I mean? I'm cool. And I want to go and do as I shall please. I want to go out on dates and whatever. And, you know what I'm saying? I want to see what, what, you know, what I've been, I've been, it seems like, you know, I've been under such a covenant for so long. I want to be free. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, I want to take all this out on the, you know what I'm saying, on the, on the little joy ride. You know what I'm saying? I want to put me on some badass shit because I ain't never been here before. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm at right now on all it is, yeah, I'm ready to test drive this motherfucker real serious. Like, I'm not bullshitting you. I'm just going to tell you what's, what, what's real. I want to have a good motherfucking time. I want to put some badass shit on tight, too. Camel toed out the game. Um, all that back is doing all that hips and thighs gap. All that. I'm trying to do all that. But I'm trying to keep it clean, though. I, I don't do strange flesh, or I'm trying to fuck with this nigga now. Well, none, none of that. Okay, let's be clear. I do have a daughter. She's 17. Well, she will be 17 this summer. And no, so I, and I, I don't have niggas running in and out of my pad. I don't do that no motherfucking way, so let's be clear on that as well. But to be able to go out on a couple of days, matter of fact, hey, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Malibu, um, weren't we supposed to be going out this past weekend? Now, I know that I, a couple weeks back, due to my, you know what I'm saying, my gait was off, you know what I'm saying, motherfucker was limping, you know what I'm saying, kickstand out the game, and I couldn't make it, you know, to our dinner, okay? Now, you then in turn came and hollered at me, and so you said, well, Tina, how about... You know, the following week, we go head on. I'm going to make full plans, and we're going to go do that. And so, uh, we didn't do that. Okay, now, I understand that you busy and everything, and I, I got all that old type of shit, and I know what you're doing nowadays. And I'm just so happy for you. And so, you know, so you got a pass, because you're doing big things right now. So, you got a pass, baby. I'm going to give you a pass. But, um, and then you was like, well, maybe we'll go to a show. Don't play with me. Don't play with me because I'm going to tell you, can, can I say this? And I don't, don't want to just be, you know what I mean? But um, New Edition is going to be back at um, the Microsoft, World, which is the uh, Nokia. They're going to be there in July. Can you take me there? Can you take me? I won't go with you. Can you take me? Now, you see, you know I'm fully able to, you know what I'm saying? But that's our thing, though. And it's like we, you know, we don't have to go to the Ritz Carlton for dinner. We don't have to, none of that. We could just valet the cars and, you know what I'm saying, go to the show. No extras, you know what I'm saying? We could just go to the show like we, you know, always used to do. So, I mean, let me know if, if, if you know, if you game, you know, what you want to do. Because I'm going to go see Anthony Hamilton and Fantasia on the 20th. Beyonce is here in two weeks. I kind of wanted to do that, but she's going to be at the Rose Bowl. And um, I don't know if I really wanted to deal with all that crowd and everything. Um, you see Janet canceled at the row, at the uh, Hollywood Bowl. She was supposed to have been there the day after Anthony Hamilton and them. And I was actually going to that show. and So that's been canceled. And so... And then we got Playboy and all kind of different things coming up. But I would like to go see New Edition with you. Really. I mean, that's just like our thing. Like the last time I went, I went with you. Was that the last show? No. I went and seen them one time, one or two times after that. But that was just so fun. And then you and I went to go see Fantasia too. And I was like, you know what, when, when, um, when I got the ticket to go, I was like, damn... But, you know, and I didn't even reach out or anything to see what you had going on to see if you wanted to go see Fantasia. So I do apologize for that because I know you're going to be seeing in a minute like, okay, well, you over here with Fantasia and them, you over here on some Anthony Hamilton and all this old type of shit. Well, how come, you know what I'm saying, you didn't holler at your boy? Okay, baby, my bad, okay? So I'm going to get up off of us and we're going to just get back to my regular schedule of programming. But I just wanted to say that. That new edition is going to be at the Nokia the last weekend of July, 
and I'm gonna be coming off of um, of Jazz Fest West um, family reunion, all kind of stuff I have going on in July. But I would love, love, love to go see New Edition with you though. So um, you know, so just hit, holler at me. Let me know what you know, what what what, or you know, we don't even have to go to no motherfucking show. We can go to Houston's and um, and go have some. Um, some 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 hot chips and some um, cheesy dip artichoke and spinach and just sit around and just catch up you know it doesn't have to be all you know what I'm saying because I know every time you take me to the best of places we'd be at some Bel Air hotel type stuff and we don't you know we don't have to do that all the time we can you know you introduce me to Houston's and since you did I simply love that place and we can go there. It don't have to be all, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I know that's your thing, but, you know, it don't have to be. You know, I'm, I'm cool like that. You know what I mean? You know I like uh, mom and pop spots, okay? Shit, fuck what you going through. Hell, we can go to Culver City and go to motherfucking Honey's Kettle while you're bullshitting. I just miss you like that. I know you're busy and doing a whole bunch of things and stuff. And as I told you, baby, that's all you. You got that, okay? And I'm just so proud of you and I just love you. And so I just wanted to say that because I know that you have been checking me out here lately and texting me like, okay, well, what's up with this? You know, so, all right, baby. So anyway, off of my boo, let's get on to...